morning friends we start the our today's lectures last time we discuss about the conventional programming and event driven programming wtn wt event package right how to create the j buttons and swing package for the new controls difference between the wt controls and swing controls right the main three components part of the event handling is the action who create the action generate the actions listener who are responsible to bind our generation of action to the related functions and handler is a function who responds to right what is we expect the output when user performs some action different event classes for the different events right different event listener for listening a particular objects right to whenever we create the any actions applet life cycles right so main four methods init start stop and destroy init and destroy executed only for the one init when we create the applets destroy when the applet is destroyed start and stop is depend on the our activation of windows right paint method paint method is executed every time when we uh, display the our windows in the applets if we change anything suppose we put text uh, change the level of text or put any text box but every time paint method is responsible to display the gui and we also use the paint graphics gui object for the some paint activities like a line circles right like of this one and we use a applet viewer to execute the applet program instead of a main method but we use the main method for a frame this is example how to do the line rectangle squares right how to create the frame and display right? label to display the some information j labels j button right to take the action from the users text box j text field to take the inputs from the user layout manager for the different different graphical structure to arrange our different controls right uh, mainly is border layout for the five sections automatically or arrange uh, or component is added to the particular section grid layout we can customize the grid as we required and we can directly add the components so alignments are done very well as we require the look and feel in our application form flow layout with here without any structure just the object is put in a sequence of line box layout so it is a vertical arrangement or horizontal arrangement as we like it is mostly like in the mobile applications card layout like our card playing games right at a time only one card is visible to the user but we can add the number of cards in a single pen single container g option pen so it is a look like a pop up right alert window and we use a mainly three kind of the windows message window to just show the same information confirmation dialog to take the confirmation yes no or cancel and input dialog that means we can take the one string from the user like your password or pin number this is example of so message dialog so first one is a parents window in which we want to display the our this window that is a child of that or it is known as a model form right until we can, uh, do not close this window the parents frame is not accessible this is the message to display over here third argument is the message window this one alert so it is a title and this one is a related with the image to change the warning image error image or information image this is a show input dialog so we have one text box to enter the some string we can receive that string as a return value of show input dialogs this is a confirmation dialog right and confirmation dialog return the one integer right depend on yes no and cancel and we compare that integer value with the predefined constants and num constants of the j option pair if it is yes option no option or cancel option and according to that we can write the code checkbox for the multiple selection so we use a j checkbox class 
right we create a first object of the checkbox we set the parameters as we required and add that check uh, checkbox to the our frames or like that now the thing is when we click on the button right the action listener is responsible to manage the event over here when we select the checkbox or deselect the checkbox so item listener is the responsible so uh, when the state is 0 or 1 right so from 0 to 1 or 1 to call 1 so item state is changed so related method is item state changed so whenever state of the our control component is changed this event is executed if we bound this item listener with the, our object Right, our object is checkbox one. So checkbox one dot add item listener and object of the class where we define this method or where we define this listener. So it is a current class. So it is a current object. Similarly, radio buttons. A different thing is radio button. We expect the only one selection out of the multiple radio buttons. So for that purpose, we use a button group class. Right. So over here we create the one button group class and we add the our radio button R1 to the button group, radio button R2 to the button group. That means either male or female. Now these two radio buttons become a, a group of one. Right. So out of these two, we can select the only one radio button. Another is automatically by default unselected. And for that, uh, for handling this event, we also use item listener like a checkbox and same method item state changes. We also bound add item listener with the, our listener. Right? So behavior is similar, but just we require the button group for a making a group of radio buttons. Otherwise, it is possible to select all the radio buttons, which is a meaningless combo box. So it is again alternative to the radio buttons selection from the many options. Right? But thing is that it requires the less space compared to the radio button. We, if we have the hundred option. And again, it is required only one space, right? Which is very difficult for the radio buttons. And for that purpose, we create the object of the J combo box, right? If we have the predefined values, then we can uh, just give that values to the J combo box constructor. Or if we do not have, we can add later on, right? J combo box, add item listener. Again, the listener is same. Item listener, the method is also same. Item state changes. And when the selection is going to change, right? So that means state is changed. And state is changed at that time. We can just call this function. It is just pop up window which item we select. It is a depend on our requirement. But this thing is important. If get state is changed to one, that means item is select. Because when we select, suppose after USA we select the India, then USA state changes from one to zero and India from zero to one. So both times it is called this function. But we need to handle this function only for the selected item. We do not like to handle for a unselected item. So it is required to write this code. Right. Similarly, list. In the list is different is that it is also collection of different items. Right. We can select the one item or multiple item right from the our list box. So how we can do it? So over here, yes, a list box is a, a different kind of the list box. It is a simple string list box. We can also create the checkbox list box or radio list box right, as we required. So according to that, the default model, that means a generalized listener list method is our default list model. That means every list is derived from the default list model. So we add the object in the default list model. And for the visualization as we require the string, then we create the list as a string right so over here we create the object of the list and we give this our default list model object which is which have a data right to that list and it is now add to the our frame so it is visible now handle the list right the atom listener listener is what list selection listener when we select the any item in the list which listener we require list selection listener why it is required from the different from the combo because it is having multiple option selection which is not possible in the previous combo box okay and the method is what it is a value changed so in the value changed over here we just use this object right or we use this object 
list over here we write the list dot get selected value list so we it is possible we can just select the only one value or multiple value with the shift or control if we use a shift then it is continuous selection if we use a control then it is possible to different different selection and according to that we can handle it yes now the new things for the today's lecture is a j panel so again it is a second kind like a frame or applets so it is a container it is not a direct input output controls for the users but for a making of the groups right we use a panel and we create the some text box label buttons we add in the panel and then we add panel to the frame or make it visible or invisible uh, what we are doing here here create the object of the frame there create the object of the panel right we set the boundaries background color if we require this is our panel right we can make it whatever we like button we create the one button create the button to okay we add this button to this one and now the important thing is what b1 button is added to the panel b2 button again added to the panel that means both button are the part of the panel not it is a part of the frame and then we add the panel to the frame right so this is what nesting of structure this is a main container this is a sub container and we add the component to this one so many time we can use the multiple panels right for creating different different good like registrations and logins for that kind of the different kind of the operations right it is also possible make it one is visible and one is invisible if we suppose we need to sign up then we can invisible the login and visible the uh, sign up page so that means it is possible to display the complete panel in a single operation on a single click we check the example mm, make means new java class right panel demo we can use a frame or applet as we like the applet next example we work with the frame which are the methods in it start stop and disturb public void in it. if we require just to create objects then this is a kind of the single operation but we remember we can define the object variable outside the function so we can easily use any start method and stop method so we require to handle the panel Okay, right. Suppose P one. This is just access variable. Now we create the object when init method is executed. That means when we execute the applet. J panel. Right. Okay. Now we can create the buttons. Suppose J buttons. one equal to new j button we set the name right inside panel okay now we p1 dot add right so instead of applet we add this button in the our panel and after preparing this kind of text box label we add the, all the components to the, our panel now panel is ready complete form that is ready then we can add to the our this means our applet current add p1 okay right now this is our panel and so we can change the size over here we p1 dot Set size uh, 
width is suppose it is 200 and height is 200 the background color so it will be visible or different from the other red color right so you can reduce the size so okay, and you also require to set the layout this dot set layout new flow layout Can change the layout it's not managed to oh, it's not set mm. so we can take the border layout okay, so size is visible to us now we the panel is over there now when we add the panel we use a border layout and just give the center It is a center component. We create the one more button and add in the outside panel. We create the one more button. This tool equal to new J button. Right? Visible or invisible like that. Now we add this button. Right, to the our this dot admins in our applet but in the north north okay not visible again we are doing some mistakes we created we even flow layout in the panel because panel is also on container so we require the layout managers right we prepare the panel we add that panel to the our north right and send the center and this one is north mm, why it's not visible to the first difference yes okay now our target is what right this is our panel right this is our uh, we are not added in the east and west point and south portion so it is not visible otherwise it is visible now it is also possible we can set the size for the visible button right because it is it's like a long button so where is the visible button? This one. B2 dot set size. Mm, width is suppose 100 and height is 30. Okay. And still it's not set. Mm, both sizes. Layout, layout. Okay, this one is good. 130. Fine. We also set size because we do not set the size of our applet. Set size 500, 500. Now our target is what we are going further. Okay, suppose we are clicking on this button. So our target is to invisible this panel. Right? So automatically button is also make uh, it's become invisible. And after when we click on this button, 
it we like to make it visible clear okay now suppose i can change it invisible in vc right so when we click on the button that means we require the implements which listener we require action listener action listener okay so we need to define the one method which one action perform it okay over here okay now we bound this method to both one this method define the current class okay fine so our button is here button is p2 is here and b1 is here okay so b1 dot add action listener within the current class yes in current class similarly for the button p2 fine okay now that means we add the same method for both on key both button is clicked this time over here that means every time we need to check right which button is clicked that means it is coming from the source so we know that button is clicked so we got the but object of button this is button that is generalized to e dot get source if we have directly suppose we are declaring the reference b1 we are over here b1 and b2 it is possible directly compare that b is equal to b1 or not like that right but we are we know the name of the button also right so if b dot get text it means it is either visible or either it is invisible equals visible right so easily we can find key okay what we need to do or otherwise we know that only two option is here either it is visible or invisible it it is visible that means we are click on the upper button visible so our target is what our panel p1 dot set visible equal to true right and similarly when we click on the button 2 so target is to make it false so that means we are not just make it visible the button is we are completely hide the panel so how we can handle it right panel is invisible to you right so similarly kind of kind of applications or we can do the anything we can resize it or we can add the another components right whatever we like but it is what part of the panel so we can on a single click we can manage the complete panel the panel is a very important component in the gui applications when we make a group of the controls right similarly we can just add the sign up page and registration page on a single click we just change the pages uh, scroll bar right j frame j labels j bounds okay fine j scroll bar right we are familiar with the scroll bar so j scroll bar is over here we can set the size now it is what set the unique increment that means when we click on this upper button and lower button so this value is incremented right if we suppose set the 5 then it is directly 5 times 15 20 like that right set the minimum and maximum value that means what is the range of this one right add the label okay for this displaying purpose nothing else add the scroll bar to this one okay fine set size but our target is what when we scroll this scroll bar right whatever current value of this scroll bar is we like to this or display in our label controls right and for that purpose we require to handle the event so that means whenever user click over here or scroll manually this scroll bar so every time the action is performed and for that purpose we require the action listener Right. So over here we can define the yes. Our object is a scroll bar. Object is s. So s dot add x adjustment listener. Right. Whatever we adjust the value for upside or downside. But over here instead of passing this or any other class object, what we are doing? We are typing over here new adjustment listener. Right. And over here we are also not write the implements etc. This is known as a 
anonymous listener. In the last lecture, we just drop it this idea because there's some complexity. But now the three ways, right? Which are the three ways we discussed in the previous example? Right. Uh, Like this one. One and one method is what we implement the listener in the same class. This is the first method where we pass the listener object as a this. Right. Second is we create the separate listener in separate class. And this is a demo item listeners. And when we are going to bind the listener, right? We create the object of that class and pass the object to the listener. This is the second. And third way instead of defining the separate class or separate implement listener that we directly implement over here these are nothing but this is an anonymous class we are going to create a object of class that implements the adjustment listener anonymously we do not define any name of that class but the disadvantage is that it is used only for the single time that means this is only possible to bind with the this code but it is not possible to bind this code with the any other one. Right. So if we require to just uh, this method is called by the only one object, then this method is a good. Right. But in the previous example, we are taking the okay one function is handled by the two buttons. Right. So it is not possible. In that case, we can define the separate code. So we as per our previous two methods in the same class or in the different class. But if the one function, right, we require the only one function managed by the one control one action, right, then it is a good method. We do not require to create a separate class. Over here, new adjust listener. So it is anonymous class, right? Implements, right? Like a suppose it is a demo class which implements the adjustment listener. Inside that class, what we type? So we type the our method adjustment value change it, right? Okay. We can try it first. new scroll bar demo okay finished extends now this time we derive from the J frame instead of the applets. So we require the constructor and main method. Uh, scroll by demo. Here we can create the our frame. This is our this is a my frame, right? We are our customized frame. This is our constructor. When we create the object in the main method, this constructor is executed. That means our frame is now visible. So we set the parameter for the frame over here. This dot set uh, seek bonds for the left and top and width and height both at a time. So 100, 100. Whatever we like. Right. Second important property is set visibility. So we make it true. So frame is visible to us. And set dot set layout, which is good if we use it first. Right. Suppose new row layout or border layout or suppose we take this time we take the grid layout. Okay. In the grid layout, what our target is? We need to create the suppose label and scroll bar. So we require the two rows and one column, right? So two rows and one column. Okay. This one. Okay. And this is good if we write as a first line instead of the last line. Okay. And it is also possible we can set everything in a first line. It's not an issue. This dot and 
said before close the, these four statements are important for the frame this is not limitations in the reflex exit on close okay now our frame is ready you can observe right okay this is great but still we are not creating the object ready so first we create the one label right for the displaying output purpose my label l new j label right so just give the string so we can read the result over there this is for the initial purpose now we need to add this label right where we can add so add in the um, frame right add but where in a first row and first column clear or it is also by default added if we not give the parameters and it is sequentially added now we create the scroll bar j scroll bar s new j scroll bar right we can also set the number at a time right orientation is vertical or horizontal right initial value right extend minimum maximum now over here or set the one by one only just we required minimum value we required the one suppose add dot set maximum value we required the suppose only 10 like controlling the value right now we add this to the our grid this dot h1 so row number is 2 means 1 right add s first i mean second row and first column clear we add the label in the first row and we add the scroll bar in the second row index is a zero and one or it is by default also already no it is not visible scroll bar we need to set the size yes dot set size number of rows we create the two rows number of column the one column okay and by default we just take the by default order right this is the label this is our scroll bar our orientation we suppose we like to handle it as a S dot set value suppose five and also set alignment mm. and make it horizontal. scroll bar dot sorry sorry breaking your position so it's at horizontal right. still we are not handling the events so result is not there but it is possible we can do it so we take the break and then after we write the code how we can handle these events and this one so right now we will end this meeting over here and we start the next one you just click on the next link next meeting so you can uh, join this lecture continue right after the two minutes